So I'm going to take this out for a test flight at uh, at an open a little open field by my place. So, anyways, I got the FPV gear mounted. This little micro 200 milliwatt um, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. Um, RC model reviews did some reviews on these, and the quality, the consistency of quality on these is nah, not so great. Um, I unfortunately got one with um, some of the horizontal lines, so uh, maybe I'll order another one, or I think you might have a fix for them by adding some capacitors to clean up the power. Anyways, um, Sony CCD um, camera on the front. From I picked up that from Sky Surveil Zone, I think. Um, anyways, I've already gone over the rest of this copter, really. The only thing I did was clean up the wiring, um, move the battery back. So now when you give it full throttle, it goes straight up. Um, battery um, voltage alarm, low voltage alarm. And uh, yeah, so anyways, it's uh, still using the ZMR 1804 2400 kV motors, also known as the RCX motors. 5x3 props, Emacs uh, 12 amp uh, pre flash Simon KESCs, running a KK2 with 1.6 firmware. Um, also running a Free Sky uh, Delta 8. Uh, Delta 8 receiver on a Futaba transmitter. So the all up weight, I believe, was 640 grams. Um, so as it is right here, with a GoPro, it'll be slightly more. I also did um, a hover test. I didn't bother to include it in the video because uh, it's kind of boring to watch. And I got uh, 10 minutes of flight time on a 2200 milliamp battery no GoPro just with FPV gear now that was just doing a hover test and just a little bit of flying around on the deck I suspect with a GoPro and some actual flight like some you know actual flying some uh, speed flying probably maybe seven or eight minutes of flight time um, overall really happy with this frame um, again I'll mention that these these standoffs are metal I would probably switch those to something that will break in a case of a crash so the carbon fiber doesn't break um, the quality of the carbon fiber so far seems to be holding up I crashed into a tree the other day and it seems to have uh, held up as you can see you can see some leaves and stuff in here but uh, you know for a budget uh, hexa mini hexacopter um, it's pretty good quite happy with it um, it isn't gonna have the blackout quality um, but hey, for uh, an eighty or ninety dollar frame, it's I think in my opinion it's worth checking out at least to uh, get you into the hobby, at least into the mini hexes. Um, I'm I would like to upgrade these motors as well eventually to uh, some sunny skies, and uh, whenever they get back in stock, if I can find them anywhere. So, anyways, next I'm just going to take it out for a quick flight and just show you some of the uh, some of the flight characteristics and the uh, acceleration. Um, and how, uh, how it flies. Well, no shortage of power.
that was only a three quarters throttle. is fast. Anyways, that was a pretty good flight. If it loaded down, I got the bal battery balanced, so now when I give it full throttle, it goes straight up. Not too much oscillation coming down. Quite happy with this. Anyways, next, uh, hopefully do a video with it flying FPV. But we'll see how the weather holds out. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it and subscribe. Thanks for watching.